At the boot camp, we put in a lot of work, hoping to have a strong start to 2018. Uh, we really don't want to get complacent and let ourselves fall off a little bit, so we're uh, going to put in the work. And so after the win at E-League, I think we fell off a bit in the online tournaments when we were home, and we really needed a refresher, so we decided to boot camp in Berlin at the G2 offices. I think it really helped us get that advantage over our opponents for this tournament, and I think it'll help us get that win, hopefully. <laughs> Playing with Corona Janops is incredibly fun. Uh, over the past year I've been with them, I've gotten to know them a lot more, and I can definitely see us getting like closer and closer the more tournaments we compete in. This event is honestly great. I think it was better than DreamHack Atlanta. The main game is Rocket League at this event, so we get a lot more attention. Stage is bigger, all that. Coming into the tournament, we were pretty excited that uh, we had a group that had familiar teams. We had scrimmed Dignitas many times, even before they were Dignitas, and Rogue was playing with two players who were just coming off of long flights, and they were playing with a player they never really played before. So we thought, okay, like this is a good group. We know we can make it out of this. Let's go ahead and get into it. A best of three between G2 and Dignitas, Shogun and Quinn taking away. We've never seen perform when it truly really matters against G2, who only perform when it really matters. Oh! And Jay Naps doing what he does, and that is perform all the time. But now, starting to find the creativity, starting to find those passing plays, and I feel like it was all forced by C. Okay, that was creative. That was really bad. <laughs> that was. Definitely not what you want to see here, especially from G2. Dignitas kind of destroyed us. We didn't expect that. They put in the work, and we we're still a little bit rusty, I think. Well, we picked it back up at the end of the group, but I think it really woke us up. Air dribbles an individual play, but when he is just feeling himself, his carries are incredible. But speaking of incredible, this shot from JNAPS. What we tried to fix coming from the Dignitas game was a little bit of our rotation and a little bit of our communication. And we know what we made mistakes on against Dignitas. Starting to become the name of the game here for G2. Moses has a save. Kronobi has an opportunity to shoot some good bumps in net. will help him out too. G2 clinches it. And even though we would score lightning fast in our games, we still had some issues that linger throughout the match. So fixing those mistakes and against Rogue, we overcompensated a little bit for those mistakes. It was still better, but it wasn't perfect. It wasn't like how we played at E-League. So trying to find that middle ground between the way we rotate and making sure we don't do nothing in a game. Getting Gale Force instantly on day two uh, is not something that we really should have done. If we had just won our match like we were seeded to, we wouldn't have to worry about Gale Force, but now we do. We've played them before, and the last time we played them was E-League, and we did win that. It was a best of seven. They would have won the best of five. Now we just have a best of five. So we're going to bring it all, and even if we don't beat Gale Force, we still have Team Secret and Fnatic that if we get wins on, we'll still make it to day three. out just as expected there as Gale Force looked to get it right back and a nice stop from Kronobi on the back wall. He just barely came in. Oh, this shot! What? 
What a shot there, passing it on to himself off of the wall. Look at this play here from Rizzo. Right at Turbo Pulsa, off the ceiling, and there's Violent Panda, and that's gonna seal the deal. Gale Force sweep out G2. And Gale Force moving on through. This is gonna be just such a heartbreaker here for G2. After our games versus Gale Force, we actually felt pretty confident, even though we did get 3 0'd. We felt like we were playing pretty solid, and the, the losses were just one goal differentials, so we just brushed it off and uh, kept doing our thing versus Secret and Fnatic. Yeah, and the rest of G2 can control some of the mid boosts. Make that life a little bit more difficult for Fnatic. That could go in and no that will way. go in. Shay Naps, you are nuts. Now they will go 2 1 up after previously being two, I mean, one goal down. Oh, Taker what a down the player. G2, this is the style of play we saw when they won E League. They have woken up. And they will be going on to day three, representing North America, putting it as four North American teams. Four European teams competing at DreamHack Open in Leipzig. G2 will be progressing on as your Group D runners up. I feel like at this DreamHack event, since the tournament is so stacked and so many teams actually showed up, being top eight or in the quarterfinals is definitely an achievement, but I'm looking to go and take the trophy again to be a back-to-back -back champion. first match for Signatas didn't go well at all. I think we're more prepared this time around and it'll be uh, much more of a fight. Best of five, Dignitas against G2. Quinn and Achieves, take it away. Midfield, JNAPS will circle back around. He's been so dangerous since yesterday. One, oh. two, touch in right into the center. G2 on the board first. And that's what happens when you give JNAPS ball. I've seen from JNAPS today, he's doing a rule. Oh, <laughs> a <laughs> nice Novi. flick from Kronovi. Good start again for G2. Pass out towards the side. They need to get possession here. They stall it. Is that enough? Pass into the corner. There's a little bit of bumping and a demo in the midfield. They've got nobody there. Dignitas can't do it. G2 will knock them off and they will advance and wait on the winner of the next match. I think we performed much better against Dignitas this time around because last time it was the very first game of the whole event for our team and it was the very first time we played on stage. So there's a little bit of nerves, and we fixed our mistakes from the first series. We realized what we had to do, and we solved the problems in one. Without any further ado, it's G2 against NRG, best of seven. Achieves and Quinn, take it away. Garrett G's right there for it, though, and he almost got the oh. dunk to put the game away, and now JNAP's up the side quickly to the other end. The net's actually oh, open. It's open. a tough angle, and it will be into oh, the top Rizzo. left. Rizzo ties it up for game one. Can they convert it into a win in OT? It'd be a big start, and that might do it. It's oh, slowly no, towards the it. net. He can't get there. Kronovi steals game one. And this one again off the post. Time J Naps over the top of one. Can he do it again? Right over the what top and off the bar, and he's done it. With 36 seconds left, get in my net set. Um, I picked PSG after Gale Force is knocked out, so I got to stick to that prediction. But regardless, I think this is going to be an incredible best of seven. Ronovi looking for Rizzo. He actually ended up missing. Now Jin has to get up. His teammates are coming back, Whoa, but they're not no! even going to be needed. JNAPS is starting to feel it. So we were really happy with our play, um, especially after game five when we, ended up, we went up on game point and we had a really, really rough game six. I think we lost seven to one, and it took a lot of mental fortitude to come back into that last game and keep it even for so long. And we had the lead up until 12 seconds. And there were some unfortunate errors and they ended up tying the game, but we knew that we were playing well, we would always bounce back. And you can't be mad about, you know, being the best in your region at this event and making the grand finals and making it close. Despite not winning, this event was great practice for us. We got to play, I think, more Rocket League than any other team on the stage got to play. So getting that practice and being able to not quite be complacent going into the next RLCS season. You know, we got second, which is we did really good, but we can still do better. And that's the best mindset to have going into the next season. 
Hey guys, it's The Mountain here. If you want to see more awesome content, make sure to click subscribe.